Well, let's go ahead and turn through the chest the arms, hands, and club system over here. So now it could go vertical, horizontal, vertical. Yeah. Shapes. Shapes. Beautiful. Hey, hey, we're back. We're back again. All right, baby. So th this one's actually really, really fun because mm -hmm. I always like talking about the golf club. It's kind of fun. Yes. But my version of the goat. Who's your version of the goat? Two doves. That's mine too. Come on. I mean, it's, it's really good. It's hard to argue. Tiger always talks about his number one asset being his mitts, like what he does in his hands. And my theory is, is because when he's talking about his hands, he's always talking about like he's managing the golf club. Mm -hmm. and how he's moving in space, you're managing yeah. the club face, blah, 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 blah. So this whole video really will tie in the club and how it moves in space mm -hmm. and how the hands are motoring the golf club and their, their active actions. So let's go over just what the wrist can do. Yep. Here's kind of a combo of three different movements. Okay, so show me, we'll, t we'll call this just hammer drill just for the sake of argument. Yep, we're just going bump, bump, bump. This is radial ulnar deviation. So mm -hmm. if you hear us say RD, radial deviation, ulnar deviation. Load the hammer, unload the hammer. Radial and ulnar. Bingo. Okay. Extension and flexion. Extension would be this action here, where you feel like the palm goes away from you, and flexion is here. Correct. Okay. Then we've got pronation and supination. Think of supination as holding a cup of soup. Pronation is the other way. So obviously we're holding the golf club so we can do a number of these different actions yep. and a combo of all these actions. And every single golf swing has a combo. So it can be fairly complex if you're just looking at like all the different combos of movements that you can have. However, there's some preferences that we have. Yes. Okay, so let's start with this and we'll just do this together, eh? where we're holding the golf club straight up and down. Mm -hmm. And you'll notice that when we're doing this, the, the leading edge of the golf club is straight up and down as well. If we just threw RD, radial, into the system, we would ride that, that leading edge up this like imaginary vertical wall right. a bit. Okay, now, if we threw some extension of the trail wrist in here, we would keep the leading edge vertical, but we'd throw it over on the, on the opposite side, on my trail side. Now, what I'll see a lot of players do when they do this, they'll go load, and then I'm going over here, and they'll throw in trail wrist extension and supination all at the same time, ah. and the face goes wide open. So we need the face or the leading edge straight up and down. Right. Exactly. Now, this is the load of the golf club. So we're throwing it vertical and horizontal while still management, managing the leading edge. Mm -hmm. Okay, now if we did that like more curved off, whoop, we're there. Now you threw a little bit of the unload, which is nice, but Ooh, this, yep, good. yep. So see how it's up right now for Correct. both of us? Correct. To unload it, we would have the golf club like another imaginary wall right here. The yeah. leading edge would ride down that imaginary wall and then would be thrown back to the original starting position. Right. Okay, so just think of it as like this circle that we're making here, okay? But we're throwing it vertical first. It has to get vertical first. We're here, there. There you go. So just show the load first. Whoop. Now unload, boom. There you go. That's really what the hands are doing to control the club face. Right. Now again, if we walk through that, I'll just do it without a golf club and you go ahead and show it with a club. Radial, extension only. There we go. Now this action here, because I'm in extension, this is a supination pattern. Mm. Uh-huh. Because I'm in extension, this is supinating now. Yeah, because you're getting the forearm involved. Because exactly. Going so, and you can feel like both of these like bumps here. What that is is your radius. This is your ulnar, the head of the radius and the head of the ulnar. Mm -hmm. So, if you get that going down, feel so how they go that way. So there we where, go. That's where that supination uh -huh. comes from. So, this from. is supination, right? Mm -hmm. So, if I'm here, this looks like ulnar. Okay, but I'm not doing that. I'm an extension and going here, so it rotates the form. That's that supination. Yeah, it leaks into that one. Exactly. And then we would go into flexion to unload. There we go. Bingo. Okay. So what's interesting, like in, in motoring this, the the active, and again, it's the correct amount. So you don't need a ton, you don't need a little, you need the right amount for your system. Active movement, radial, extension, supination. 
that's all active. The flexion should almost happen because the flexion is me rotating and it throws the energy out of the golf club and that rotation from the chest leaks through the arms, through the hands and out through the golf club. So this loaded position, because Alex is rotating, whew, shoots the energy out and now you see how that, that wrist responded. Yeah. Okay. So in learning this, instead of just holding it straight up in front of you, let's go ahead and set up to a golf ball. And now just show me from setup, mm -hmm. with no rotation here, we're just gonna show the load phase. So we would have radial and extension. So now that golf club's over here on your trail side. Correct. Now as we're throwing this supination pattern, you can really see it from this look here. See how the leading edge of the golf club is just riding down this like imaginary wall? Yes. And you're not trying to run it into the golf ball here. It feels like it's just gonna run almost right into your ankle. Yeah, it goes straight in, yeah. Exactly. So the combo of the rotation of the chest and the supination action of this trail wrist, go ahead and start rotating the chest, is what gets us here. Mm -hmm. There you go. So hit us a little chip shot with this picture in your mind of this like, whatever you want to call it, this circle, this shape, this whatever. And we're just going to marry in the chest rotation at the correct time. And that's when we're going into supination. Yeah. So we're here, there. Yep. Hit us just a little chippy shot out there like One that. One fluid motion. Yep, yep, yep. But there's no chest rotation in the backswing, so that club is going to come up here and then back and around. Copy. There you go. That's a really good way to train yourself on how we're moving the golf club in space. Now, the three pieces of the, uh, of the golf club, like when we talk about geometry, like where the golf club should be moving in space, we've got hub, which is just the connection point of the hands on the golf club. Okay. So right there. Yep. Okay. The center of mass, which is just the balance point of the golf club. And then finally, just the axis that the shaft is spinning around which is faced like controlling the face. Yeah. Okay. And what we would prefer to see is a face that is slightly like if it airs, it's a little bit more closed than open. Okay. Okay. And the reason being is if we've got the face shut over here, I can just motor the chest into the strike and now I have a balanced out face. If it's open and I motor the chest, that doesn't match. That ain't gonna work. Exactly, so I've gotta slow this down to catch this up. And that's a heightened rate of rotation in the club face, which means more chance for like big moving shots, which ain't that fun. Okay, so let's look at this again. Go ahead and set up to it, please. Yep. Okay, and let's make this, instead of like boom, boom, yeah. we're gonna buff it off just a little bit, but we're gonna stop at the load phase. Okay. Leading edge is vertical and vertical. See that? Improper would look like this that way yeah club up towards the sky, club face more up towards the sky exactly exactly so we would like to see the leading edge of the golf club roughly on the same plane as alex's spine angle yeah that address that's a big one i see people the misconception is this has kind of always traditionally been square uh -huh. but if we're talking how it's relative to the spine angle it's open so mm -hmm. now you've already introduced some yep. of that pronating to square it off so yep. the feeling of shut it's uh -huh. really square relative to spine angle. And that's exactly. the key to everything. Exactly. And this like really cool thing that like everybody's hunting for, go back into that same position you were at, just like through the load. Good. If this starts to work down, so we're supinating, go ahead and start rotating mm -hmm. the chest. Okay. As you keep turning, turning, this look right here is like the most popular thing in the world. Now you don't have to be here. Like John Rahm was yeah. like that, yeah. right? Super stable at the strike. but. This is a telltale for, for great sta face stability. And I guarantee you, the club back here looked like that. Right. It didn't look like that. Not too many guys or mm -hmm. any guys here, and then all of a sudden they're going. Exactly, exactly. That's just a wipe cut. Yeah, that's the fun one. <laughs> this feel second. very good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not, not playable. Yeah. Exactly. So let's, let's hit a couple more shots just like that, Alex. Yeah. And like the first one was pretty big movement. Let's just do it kind of gentle in the hands. Like even there, like have all the fingers just stay like the oh. pressure from the, the lead pinky finger into the, into the pad stays like kind of firm. There you go. So now we've got it stable in the hands. Okay. And show us that same shape and just marry in that chest rotation at the appropriate time. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now that was a little wipey there, right? Uh -huh. So what we want to do is just throw in the correct amount of closure in the face. So we need a little bit more pronation in the backswing. 
because pronation is this action, yeah. and it's we're just talking degrees here. See, that's not affecting, like th this point in space is, is your anticubital fossa, it's the opposite side of your elbow. Notice when I'm doing this, that point in space isn't changing, yeah, so not I'm not here. throwing this. Yeah, you're not going No, there. I'm not going there, I closed it. Yeah. It's, we're talking degrees. It is. So, <laughs> season your steak the right amount. Yes. Right, the proper amount of closure with the same shape in your mind. More there we go. Well. Yeah, I gotta feel more shut. There, exactly. Okay. Yep. So just go there again. Okay. Now, a really good exercise for you. This is just gonna work straight down. This. There you go. As you turn, there's impact. Got it. There's your map. Doesn't that feel different going into the strike? Way different. Uh -huh. Way different. Okay. So let's execute on that. There we go. So much better. Not wiped. Okay, the bottom out was a little, right, right, just slightly heavy, so that's like the easiest thing in the world yeah. to affect. Just move your divot forward, big right. whip. Okay. And I think that's a really important thing, like even with this exercise and even me, is we're just judging, we're using the ball to judge, okay, what went wrong with the movement. Uh -huh. So you go, like you just said, let's move your divot up. Okay, so the intention is really yep. good here, move the divot up. Yeah. And let's trial and error now. Exactly, exactly. That's what we're going to try and do is, okay, basically, is it a pass fail? Do I get this part down? And can I yes Get the divot up right so now we'll just exactly. see if we can rubber meets the road here that's right beautiful all right now i would that, say that was a little better and that's better right so you go okay that's a good rep let's yes. try and rinse and repeat for the next however long exactly exactly so now that one's good so this is like a really good way to just educate the hands as tiger would say on how they're controlling the instrument now what we're really working on right here holmes is the transitionary phase and through the hit that's always the hardest part. Okay. So this shape woo, is transition. Because you don't see anybody on, on tour, right, who starts right here and goes, great, backswing. <laughs> yeah. Right? The golf club still needs to, like, arc fairly appropriately in the backswing. We prefer it to just gently ride up the plane. Okay. But let's do this in a way, like, when we first set up, and we can do this again, Alex's midline, it's a super self-explanatory term. It's mm -hmm. the middle of him. Go figure. Mid and it's a line that would just cut him straight in half. Imagine that as being this like sheet of glass that just comes perpendicular out of Alex's sternum, right out where the golf club is right now. So when he is riding this up with RD, it's riding up his midline plane. Mm -hmm. So the backswing would simply be this. Let's go ahead and turn this way. Go ahead and start rotating the midline to face the camera, and this goes with it. Now we've got the golf club arced, and I could now make the same shape, vertical, and it goes over here. As it keeps going this way, what's the chest going to do? There's the hit. Yeah. So all that we really had to do to make this look just like a golf swing is set up really nicely. Let's go ahead and move the midline, and the arms and golf club are fairly passive. So this is interesting, too, because I don't have to actively run the arms back anymore. Well, that would break your sheet of glass we're talking that about. That would break the sheet of glass. And now the swing falls apart falls apart right because the golf club it's designed to swing up and in here this is its design and look at jack like how he would waggle boom yeah, he was always doing that boom His little circles so he's doing the same same exact thing so we want that same pattern but i've got to be able to move the instrument over here there's my midline rotating because the chest is rotating and now i could make the same shape here there yeah so let's see it now we got some maps so the sequence of movement is chest rotation, very passive with the arms and hands. Mm -hmm. Now, you'll keep rotating a bit, yeah. but we're going to let this start to work up and shape off. There you go. Yeah, See how that, yeah. Yeah, and it's just the appropriate amount. We don't need too much. We don't need too little. We need the right amount. So season it up so it tastes really nice. Mm -hmm. So it's this turning, and then, like you said, yep. pop the club up and then that shape right we're just making that little shape here and at the appropriate time turning back into the golf ball yeah okay really passive let's see all that here there beautiful what's super interesting too so passive back here in the transitionary piece and i was going to say that for me oh the more i push that way it always feels like forever uh-huh and i always love to go yeah <laughs> so like, yeah there's no laying down which makes so much sense because when we're here and the ball's there it's the quickest to have the golf club go this way is like super counter yeah, why do i want it to go farther yeah but i want to hit the ball now exactly 
So it's a bad map, and most people have that map. Yeah, well, if, <laughs> right? if, you're not even, people. if you're not even thinking about it, and you're just sitting here going, well, the quickest way from A to B, straight line. Exactly, and right. so this, this goes back to it. So if you go ahead and set up, uh -huh. Okay. Most people go, well, the golf club should work away from the target. Well, I'll just run it away. Yep. Got okay. that done. Yep. So Easy as soon enough. as that happens, it's back here. The golf ball's back there. You want to get it back here. <laughs> so the circle really is in an opposing move. It's this is the circle that you're creating yeah. rather than the golf club working here. So that's a totally, totally different map for most players. Yeah. But what's really nice is we're, we're marrying in like almost three different systems a little bit of what's going on in like the big like main engine stuff. I got to turn over here. Yeah. So you have I can to move, move the club. club. Yes. But I can move the club in two ways. I could run it with the arms or I could turn it with the chest. Now I didn't do anything. They just were along for the ride. So I've got this incorporated. I've got the tool incorporated, like the shapes that it should make, like where it's loading and unloading and how the arms and hands are motoring that. Now I got like everything. Yeah. It all lines I got up. a general picture of the golf swing now. Yeah. This is the whole golf swing. Yeah. Like, how dumb is that exercise? Vertical, yes. horizontal, vertical. Mm, bang. Yep. And you're like, yeah, that's exactly what you'd want to do yep. in a full swing. Yep, exactly. And so all you have to incorporate is, well, let's go ahead and turn through the chest the arms, hands, and club system over here. So now it could go vertical, horizontal, vertical. Yeah. Shapes. Shapes. Beautiful. But that's great. So again, kind of wrapping all that up, that's a fairly simple one, but a super effective one for a lot of players just looking to like increase like their awareness and their map of like what we're really looking for through this system. We're just managing the proper amount of, a, of extension, flexion, of pronation, supination. And what you're doing there is you're just affecting the golf club. Yeah. All okay. those directly in like yep. up, down, side, side, open, closing, mm -hmm. no matter like you said, how much this guy, you're going to see the face respond or yep. the club entirely uh -huh. based on how much you throw into it. Exactly. And I think for most players, it's, it's, it's way more effective. Instead of me saying, show me radial, now show me extension, now show me supination, now show me flexion, rather than move the club vertically, move it away from you, but keep the leading edge straight up and down. Now the awareness is here and this starts to respond. Yeah. But you're still teaching your hands what they should be doing. You're teaching your mitts how they support the instrument. Yes. But when you're focused on the instrument, usually like that takes care of so many issues that players have. Yes. And their well, swing. One that I like, and I'll have you set up uh -huh. here for a second. Sure. Yeah. And trying to get people to kind of understand that concept is I'll have them just, you know, set up as you would, let me know when you're ready. And without moving the arms, can you get the club up? And I'll just help them and go, we're going to yep. go here and then I'll always grab like the outside of the wrist because when I have them move the head mm -hmm. to their trail side without the hands moving, this is what we'll get. Mm -hmm. It's really easy for them to go. Yes. And that's yes. not what we want. So yep. just this little exercise of get the club above your hands and get it to the right of your hands. Mm -hmm. Now, like you're talking about, you're in that load phase and then you yep. just start going, okay, now can you just play with it a little bit? Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's so if it's there. Yeah, and then now let's add some there. flow to it. Yep, but but that's the whole action. That's the load. That's all you need. We would just do that here. Yeah, now do it at scale. Now as uh -huh. you get more comfortable, start ramping oh, it up. Oh. Bigger wave, bigger wave, bigger oh, wave. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yes, But when absolutely. people when people see that, it's really easy. This one, it seems like they understand a lot, but they'll uh -huh. go. It's like, ah, yes. you broke the sheet of glass. Don't uh -huh. do that. It's going to be just yep. extension. That'll mm -hmm. get the club to your right side, and then yep. you... They go, oh, like, however pronated or supinated the hand is. Affects like, the and then face. they go, oh, like, they see, I think Lee Trevino said this once. Like, you have two club faces. You have the hand and the face. So whatever this guy does uh -huh. makes this guy do the same yep. thing. Yep, yep. There's a direct connection there with the, with the face, uh, face and, the, and that, like, trail palm and where they're pointed. Yeah. Generally, if you have, like, a mediocre grip <laughs> or better, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, yeah exactly. But that's, I mean, it's just such an easy way to go ahead and practice and just ingrain these, these nice patterns of going, well, the golf club should move away, but I'm not just going to run it with the arms. I'm just going to turn it over here. So now I can move this up the midline off of it and rotate at the correct time here. Yeah. And that, I mean, that's a 
that's just the whole picture of the golf swing. Yeah, and what's really nice with that, do that one more time, you sure. just take it away. So, like, hands, club, chest, like, where his uh -huh. mic is perfectly in line. And if you just shifted your body, like, you're going to move yeah. your golf, like, your pot, like, you're back in line again. Uh -huh. Versus if it was improper of, and then you yeah. turned. Yeah, this is you're, whack. You're like, that. I don't just fall into that little checkpoint. 100%. That's how people get stuck as well, because this trail arm is just running into your posterior, like the elbow's running back here. Yeah. You're immediately stuck, like in the first two feet of your golf swing. Yeah, now we're done. Full recovery mission. Here, arms stay in front. Oh, they're still in front. Yeah. And manage the hit, like, I don't know. This whole easier. upper body is like just the same uh -huh. throughout the swing. Yeah, the arms generally stay in front of the trunk. Yeah. But yeah, with just very, very simple exercise to better understand like the tool and how we're managing the hub center of mass and the club face at all times just with that simple little exercise mm -hmm. that little exercise is a great way to warm up just on the range and then build like you said like now i can turn and make a little bit bigger wave but it's the same general shape and still i'm managing impact yeah and then you just build 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 all the way up into driver and away you go to the first tee game yep. on if this just becomes someone's daily warm-up then yep. all of a sudden they're more active there they're more aware and all of a sudden it yeah. just kind of lines up because that's feeding the, the rest of exactly. what you're trying to accomplish. You're managing the tool. You're educating your hands in the proper way. Yep. Ballers. Love it. Flushers. Let's go.